Hey, y'all are gonna have to excuse me being so close to the camera today, but I'm gonna need to be up close here to answer a couple of questions I've been getting. It seems like when I was making videos recently about my Reflex Red Dot sights, I used a couple of terms that I thought everyone knew, but not everyone knows. Not everyone's a gun person. I used the terms MOA and co-witness, and I got a lot of questions saying, well, what is MOA, and what is co-witness, and why is it important? So I thought I'd take a moment today to answer those questions. Now to illustrate co-witness, I'm gonna to have to actually point the gun at myself here so that I can see the sights. You're just gonna to have to deal with that. Uh, I don't know how the safety Nazis out there are gonna feel threatened by me pointing a gun at myself, but I'm sure they'll find some way being the delicate little flowers that they are. But I wanted to explain co-witness here. As you can see here, you can see the front sight and the rear sight. You can also see the little red dot. Now to co-witness, when these sights are co-witnessing, that means when you bring that front sight into proper position, which is gonna be hard for me to do here while talking, but you get the picture here. As you can see, when I bring the front sight into proper alignment with the rear sight, the red dot is also on the target. That means both these sights are on target at the same time. They are co-witnessing, and you can see them both at the same time. If this little red dot was to disappear, you would still be able to see that front sight. The front sight could be used while this sight is still on there. If the batteries went dead, I don't have to remove the sight to use the gun because the iron sights are visible. They co-witness with the red dot sight. That's what co-witness is and that's why it's so important. Now to explain MOA, I'm going to have to step aside here and let you see the little dot on the back wall right there. It's actually not on the wall, it's in the sight, but you know, it looks like it's on the back wall if you was to focus through. But the camera is of course focused on the sight right now. But what MOA means is, it's just telling you the size of the dot. That means at 100 yards, this is a 3 MOA sight, so at 100 yards, that little red dot will cover 3 inches of the target. Now it looks bigger on camera because cameras kind of distort the red dot a little bit because of the shape of the lens, but in real life, that little dot would cover exactly three inches on your target at 100 yards. At 50 yards, it would cover six inches of your target, which is great for covering a torso. So that's what MOA means. It just means how big is that dot in relationship to the target at certain distances from the site. So that's what MOA means. So there you have it. There's a couple of questions answered about the red dot site, a couple of the terms that I used when explaining them in previous videos. I hope that clears everything up for everyone out there.